What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy Lou back in here with my team video. And as you guys see right here, we got the power within Chris Weber that is completely free. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 400 subscribers by the end of March. And literally, just like the video, it helps out the algorithm and all that stuff like that. And just in case you guys didn't know how to get Chris Weber, right? You gotta go, where is it? I gotta think, I gotta check it in. Completed lifetime, right? Or is it completed season? Okay, so you gotta go to literally the My Team Takeover. Like little challenges, right? All you gotta do is win one challenge game, win ten triple threat offline games, win six triple threat online games, win five clutch time games, and probably the hardest one is win three unlimited games. And you also need Chris Weber to be able to get the new Dark Matter Vince Carter because you need to have Chris Weber as one of the challenges to get the uh, the last uh, little piece for Vince Carter's mural. So we're gonna find out if Chris Weber's even worth it, man. But if you guys do want uh, Dark Matter Vince Carter, then he's definitely worth it because you need him. Chris Weber is a 6'9", 245-pound, power forward set center from Michigan State, 95 mid-range. He has a 91 three-point shot with a 95 driving dunk, 95 standing dunk, 90 free throw, 86 ball handle, 89 block with a 91 pass accuracy, with a 94 pass IQ, with an 82 steal, and a 78 perimeter defense, and an 85 interior D. Perimeter defense is a little bit lackluster. Like, he doesn't have, like, the greatest defense for perimeter watch, which is really bad, in my opinion. Um, because he is 6'9", he is undersized. That's where I wanted him to shine. But, I mean, you can't do nothing about it. Maybe with your coach, and if you like him a lot, then you can put a uh, shoe on him, plus the attributes that your coach has, then it will boost that up. But right now, as of right now, base card... The perimeter defense is not good. He comes at a 95 offensive rebound with a 98 defensive rebound, so he is a snagging machine. He's also on the faster side because he is six foot nine. He has to be. He's got an 87 speed with an 84 speed with ball, an 87 acceleration, a 90 vert, a 92 strength, a 98 stamina, an 83 lateral quickness, and an 80 hustle. Hopefully, they made his tendencies pretty damn good, and they did. Every single tendency is a 90. His pass interception, his on-ball steal, his shot contest, and his shot block are all at 90. So you know this card is going to be a defensive beast when it comes to, like, cutting off lanes and on-ball defense. Uh, against centers, uh, we got to see how he actually performs against, like, guards just because his perimeter defense is on the lower end. 21 Hall of Fame badges, which are catch and shoot, corner specialist, fearless finisher, acrobat, post pink technician, Break starter, dimer, box, interceptor, intimidator, rebound chaser, pogo stick, post lockdown, worm, giant slayer, dream shake, set shooter, bullet passer, grace under pressure, pulse playmaker, and hustler, all Hall of Fame. So he has some pretty good ones right there, uh, including worm, rebound chaser, like basically the defensive ones that you really want on a center slash power forward. He does come with brick wall, gold, drop stepper, uh, pickpocket, glue hands, rim protector, chase down artist, clamps, hook specialist, but act down punisher, rise up blinders, needle threader, quick first step, unpluckable sniper, stop and pop, green machine, Hosmo hunter, unstrippable, special delivery, and volume shooter, and fast switch and menace. What I did notice, he doesn't come with hybrid drive, and he also doesn't come with limitless range, which you might be able to put on him. Yeah, he doesn't come with limitless range, circus threes, or shaft. So if you really like the card, you definitely have to put those on because, like, at this point in the year, you need your cards to have limitless, or you're literally just going to get outplayed a majority of the time. Um, but now we're going to go on to a freestyle. We're going to test out his animations in there, and then we're going to go on to a triple threat online game to see how he actually performs against other cards online and see how his perimeter defense is, if it holds up, you know, to, like, the standards that we have right now. He has hot zones everywhere except those two uh, wings. That shot is like a Trey Young and Magic because he, he like shoots one-handed if you notice it. He like holds it for a little bit. I mean, the shot is extremely, and I mean extremely quick. But it's easy to time. Once you get used to it, you're going to be able to time it the majority of the time. Well, as long as you literally are just catching shooting. Off the dribble, he's probably going to be, it's going to be a little bit difficult to like time. Just because it is one of those quicker jump shots. I feel like when you're literally just catching and shooting, your shot's always faster because of catch and shoot and all those badges like that. But this shot is just money straight up. This shot is just straight up money. You're not going to miss with this shot. You're just straight up not. So the shot is cash money. His handles feel pretty damn good. As you see him right there dribbling his ass off. Hopefully his behind the back is actually pretty good. Let's check that out real quick. I'm not good at uh, ball handling, so keep that in mind when you're watching my videos that I'm not the greatest ball handler. Like, I'm not the Kyrie Irving of 2K. I'm not Hank the Tank. I'm not any of those guys. I suck at dribbling. I just do the fundamentals, man, um, to literally win the game. But overall, his dribbles feel extremely smooth, and he's 6'9", so a lot of power forwards aren't going to be able to guard you unless they have a small forward at the power forward position. Then they'll be able to guard you. 
but he'll get you through like a majority of like situations his shot is just cash man it's just cash he's extremely tired right now the bar is blinking he's making everything and he's gonna be able to dunk the ball like crazy because he comes at a 95 literally driving dunk and standing dunk so literally if you're under the paint you do a little drop step he's gonna dunk it the majority of the time i was under the rim on that one but okay he just doesn't want to dunk right now there it is there's the dunk you'll get more dunking animations in the middle of the game um let's check out his leaner real quick i know he's extremely tired but he should be able to shoot it his leaner is extremely slow off that first shot alone lefty it is disgusting do not shoot it lefty because he is a right-handed player but i do not recommend literally shooting potatoes with him at all we're gonna agree one more shot and we're gonna go on to triple throw online to test out his animations real quick and there it is man it was just that easy all right man so we're here we're gonna use mono ginobili with chris weber right now let's see if he can actually cross he does i think he has chris weber too who is that number 35 i don't know who 35 is but he looked like he had the same haircut apologize he's not the same person at all i mean that's good defense right there already just to get it started we're gonna have him guarding ray allen i mean that was just nobly's fault i wasn't playing on ball and he just straight up got cooked that is a stop we're on him right now we're on ray allen he's trying to hit me with the spin i'm not jumping at all it should be an easy stop there it is there it is chris weber i'm gonna need you to run and run with me wide open shot i need you to hit those he hit it man that's slightly early but that's slightly green around here, man. So the shot is definitely worth it. I definitely recommend putting limitless range on him if you can, if you can afford it. Um, because this card is going to be an offensive beast. Straight up. His shot is just cash. It's worth it. I mean, we're going to be able to see how he actually plays defense on certain players. We're there. That is great defense by Chris Weber and Manu Ginobili. They're working hand in hand. Easy crossover. We got him. Where's he going? I don't know. That's green bean, though. That's all I know. I wasn't even trying to, like, make that rhyme, sort of. So Ginobili gets a quick steal right there. His handles feel extremely good, and he's extremely fast, man. His shot is going to have to get some used to. Like, that's all I'm, I'm going to say. Like, I got to get used to his jump shot. But right now, he's getting a lot of space off these crossovers because they're, like, extremely quick because he's a bigger dude. Like, where is he going? I don't understand. He's going to jump right here. We're going to get a free bucket. It's just that easy, man. It's just that easy. Um, overall, already, I can tell this card is going to be a beast, man. I definitely recommend it, especially if it's free. That was a quick, easy steal that the game did not want to give me. We're going to get a block here. I mean, look at the defense, man. He had to slow him down so he can guard him. Nope, never mind. He's, like, expecting it now. But that's a wide open bucket. He shouldn't give him that much space, man. He shouldn't give him that much space. But that's where limitless range comes in handy, man. That's when you need it. We're going to hit him with a step back. We need circus threes. I mean, I guess he does it because that is cash. We're on 35, whoever 35 is. I think that's Cincy Powell, to be honest. With you. The kid is not a scrub. That's a wide open shot by Ray Allen. So right now, he's actually performing better than I thought. Like, he, I knew he was going to play good, but I didn't think he was going to play this good. We're going to try to take some dumb shots, see if we can get any contact animations. I mean, we're getting doubled down there, and he's still out snagging them right now. That's an easy stop. Yes, it is. Yes, sir. I got him jumping. I don't know what he's doing. It's a free bucket, man. I definitely recommend you guys going for the card, even if it will take you, like, a couple, like, days or, like, a week or something with the Unlimited game, if you're not that good at Unlimited. But that's really the only thing that's bad about, like, the challenges for Chris Weber, in my opinion. Because clutch time is pretty easy. It's, uh, it's a game of the it's one quarter, man. We're going to body him down low. He's just too small. Uh, but, yeah, the clutch time games are pretty easy. The triple their offline games are easy because it is against computers. Triple their online is a little bit weird. It's, like skill-based matchmaking so i mean overall it's a pretty easy card to get i'll say if you win every game probably it'll take you like probably like four hours around there i would say i mean right there that should be an easy three never mind caught him with the crossover where's he going that's a baby 58 percent covered and he still got the bucket easy steal give me those i should have stole that i should have stole that easy bucket in the corner i'm already there don't worry about it that is great defense that is great defense curry's wide open we can't really do much about that about to say we're gonna run a quick pick and fade my man does not want me to shoot it this is a baby we're gonna try to just move him out of my way this is definitely a baby like he's gonna keep jumping give it back give it back he's a baby man he's a baby he was just clearly like overextending way too much easy steal never mind easy steal if he throws it over here we're reaching the whole time we got a bad reaching animation right there he is trying to get a three 
We're gonna come over and get the steal. I, oh, that's off, that's off, that's off. Ah, he got a free bucket. At the end of the day, I don't care if I win or lose. We're not gonna lose, of course. But, I mean, he's gonna jump right here. It's gonna be a bucket. There it is, man. At the end of the day, we were gonna get the W. That's all I was gonna say. But I definitely recommend the card. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on the card when you do get him. How long it took you guys to get the card, because I'm actually curious about that. And yeah, if you enjoy my team content like this, subscribe to the channel. And it's been your boy Lou, and we out of the stab. Peace.